Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's B Plus. Thank you so much for checking out yet another video. I'm very excited today. I have a special guest, Freddie from CHH Talk. Say what's up to the people. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Yeah, yeah. So I've officially made it. Uh, I've been a fan of everything that CHH Talk uh, does on, on Instagram, on YouTube, and also, also on Twitter. So very excited and a pleasure to have you today here, Freddie. I appreciate that. And I definitely appreciate the work that you do, man. You are instrumental in the space. You've encouraged a lot of people, especially with the prayer calendar you have. So oh, definitely, man. definitely know that your work does not go unnoticed and unvalued. Oh, I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. So I hit you up about a week ago because we know Aha Gazelle has been super busy this year. Uh, mm -hmm. he, he's dropped uh, Spin, Pardon Me. He's dropped about uh, three kind of single packs as well. So I hit up Freddie was like, hey, what do you think about putting together a top 10 list of um, of Aha from this year? Because I know I've seen you tweet a couple of times some of the lyrics from um, from some of his work. So yeah, Freddie was yeah. like, what's up? Let's let, Let's go ahead and do it. So here we are. Uh, very excited about this, Freddie. So uh, with that being said, do you want to uh, just go ahead and hop right into the to your top 10 list? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's 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 do it. Oh, I did drop a lot of music, man. It was crazy. Uh, I didn't think he was going to drop two, um, you know, mixtapes this year. But then whenever he dropped the second one, it was kind of a surprise. I was like, wait, is that like, yeah, he dropped, he, he dropped part of me. Then he dropped spin. Spin was the, the shocker. And I was like, dang, like he really. He really been all gas, no break. So, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, at number 10, we got Tear It Down. Tear It Down. So, that, that was from The Spin, right? Yeah, that was the, the more of a surprise. But most definitely, um, whenever I remember, you know, just going to and fro band practice, being back in school, listening to this, really this project, but specifically this one, definitely in my car, past the car test. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go ahead and listen to a little bit of that real quick. Definitely. If you want no top, then you wouldn't hear it cheer at all. But I ain't got no top, I don't need a chandelier at all. <laughs> I ain't got no top, cause I be really out my mind. When the hate don't work, I guarantee they get the line. They all talk, dog, it's a room full of brines. I'm ready to the means that it's in my bloodline. I'll have the king, make the president resign. And if I'm not the king, then I'm making doves cry. I'm stepping on the scene like I never did reply. I ain't got to justify, I'm cool. So, and the crazy thing is, like, I remember Paris Paris made a tweet talking about how he him and a few other artists like invented flows but if you hear how aha will, will will rap on some tracks no one raps like that like yeah how his his rhythm was like na, 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 and he literally like and he, yeah he definitely has a good relationship with his producers because they know how he how he makes his music so they're like okay yeah. cool we know how you're gonna rap or you know write the verse and we'll we'll form the beat around it but like aha literally took that beat and was like okay you know i know what to do i know what to do yeah, it, 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 it almost feels like sometimes with AHA, like, because he can sing a little bit, he just kind of will just maybe just hum, hum uh -huh. something and, then, and then go back later and put the lyrics over top of it. I don't know what his creative process, but it sure does uh, seem that way uh, sometimes. So that's a good start to the list. Uh, tear it down, number 10. Uh, what's up? What you got for number nine? Number nine, you got Sinful. 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 That was, that's probably one of my favorites off of, off of part of me. Let's go ahead. Really? And listen to a little bit of that real quick. Hold on, son for the vibe, and maybe me. That's why love always turns into hating me. All these choices of mine, no one making me. I look back at how far I didn't came. I can't even complain because I'm high. I'm so located. Look in this thing as I step through the doorway. You walk, you with God. I just shut up and obey it. Like I had come back, I turn around like no way. Some people I left trying to break down my wrong way. around it. my engine still running. There's more way than one way to hate me like money. Nah, sinful definitely because I mean, he even starts it off with like. Who's the most sinful of all? It may be me. And if you read, um, you know, I forget which book it's in, but Paul definitely says, of all the sinners, I'm the chief sinner. Yeah. So whenever people say, oh, Aha doesn't, you know, read this Bible, doesn't apply the word, like, people, the way the artists are applying the word nowadays in the music isn't the same way that it was done 30 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, exactly. like who's the most sinful of all? It may be me, rather than saying verbatim, I am the chief sinner. You just you just you know reverted it. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. It's the it's it's the it's the same message. It's it's just uh, said a little bit differently. So, uh, yeah, that's a that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Uh, so that's sinful at number nine. What you got for number eight? Um, more like a slower track, brand new. Brand new. <sighs> that's the one with that's one with D Tall. That was a nice. Yeah, that they actually they make some good. They they they're like two and zero oh so far with the music <laughs> they made together. Yeah, they they really are. I think uh, I I live here in Dallas. I think D Tall is a, a local artist here. Um, really? So, 
I, I think I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I, I feel like he is. But if so, I need to find a show and, and definitely hit it up. So, uh, but here we got uh, brand new number eight. Here we go. I be big stacked at every intersection. I got old friends. Tell my reconnecting with me. You were supposed to be in pictures flexing with me. But I had to slide cha cha. I feel brand new. Brand new money. I feel brand new. Brand new money. Brand new money. Brand new money. I feel. Yeah, brand new, man. That's a. That's like the one that you kind of ride to closer to the nighttime. You just kind of ride through the city. Um, I like, like, like we just talked about, he can sing. I knows he can sing too. Like, he, right. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he said, you know, I took vocal lessons along, you know, getting my, being an artist. Cause I'm pretty sure he has a degree in business management, but I think he has a minor in music, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I might be, okay. wrong, but um, he definitely has, he's, he's done work on his voice. Cause even if you think about him singing in Saw Saw Long, it's yeah. him singing like in here. It's yeah. too different. Yeah, yeah. It's too, yeah. Like, there's no way he hasn't he hasn't uh at least formally or informally done some done some some mm-hmm. vocal training because man it, it just, I feel like it's keep getting better and better and like I don't want to get ahead of you but I'm 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 hoping that there's a particular song that he dropped this year that makes this list where he really showed off his vocal ability man. Oh man, now you got I don't I don't stop. want to put no pressure on you. I don't want to put any pressure on good. you. So what number are we at now? Um, seven. We're at seven now. So we just had a yeah. uh, brand new at eight. Okay. I just want to make sure. I'm Wait, I think I know what you're talking about. Say it I again. I okay. I, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> never. I don't want to steal your thunder. Let's go ahead. And, uh, so we're at number seven now, right? Correct. All right, what you got? What you got? Um, We have Hero. Ah, Hero. Ooh, he dropped some, he dropped some good stuff in this one. I glad, I'm, glad, saying, like, yeah. I'm glad yeah, you yeah. picked this one. Um, I'm so you got to be on Hero like you think about, especially he's talked about being a black man and how he has to survive and stuff. Yeah. He understands that one, he's a hero to his community. I don't know um, if you know, but AHA started the scholarship at his alma mater, Grambling. I've heard about it. Tell me a little bit and about it. it. Yeah, and he, and it was dope. He has a scholarship where he awarded it to, um, to, to alumni of Grambling. And as a fellow HBCU grad, I'm like, yo, that's huge. Like, that's what I want to do one day. Um, and he also, this year, you know, with the hurricane that happened, he ended up making a scholarship for hurricane people who've been hit by the hurricane. Like that's who he was specifically tailored for. So as far as being the hero that he wanted, being the role model that he wanted, he's doing a good job of that. Yep, yep, yep. And he's and he's definitely writing his own story. Let's let's take a quick listen to uh, the hero real quick. If somebody still gonna cry tonight, if somebody's getting stronger, why you waiting for somebody else? Time to be your own hero. Oh, low key, I ain't trying to be seen. And even whenever he said, like, um, low key trying to find me, like my name, Nemo, like he aha uh-huh, stays out the way. That's one of the things I like about him the most. Like, you know, as a journalist, yeah. you necessarily can't stay out the way. It's kind of hard to. But, like, the way that he's able to make his music, make his connections, yeah. and just like that be gone. Like, he he uh-huh has the ability to get on Instagram and be like, hey, y'all, I got propo- I, I proposed, and that's it. And last time aha uh-huh talked about his relationship, you know, he was worried, but AHA didn't, you know, AHA didn't walk, AHA keeps his private life private in his public yeah. life private, public. So the fact that he's able to do that is like extremely admirable. While also, whenever he does step in the public life, it's for positive things only. Yeah. And he's making he's making change where he's at. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. And, and that's why I like, a lot of times he can be a, a polarizing uh, person um, in this mm-hmm. space. Um, I, I like to call uh, people like AHA, Star Ringo, like people like that. I try to call them like, or I try to call them, yeah, CHH adjacent. Because they're like, yeah. they're not CHH. And mm-hmm. they can't be boxed into that. But they're like right next door, especially AHA, because he, he spent a little bit of time with Reach and, and dropped Trillium, I think two and three with Reach. So, uh, so yeah, man, that's a, that, that's a good look at number seven. Let's, uh, let's hop on over to number six. What you got? Um, cutting up. Oh, that that Louisiana feel, man. That bounce, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's starting to harness it, and I love it. Yeah, I I, I definitely like that track. It, it it's funny thing about that track. It came out at the beginning of the year, mm-hmm. right when everybody's starting the year working out. And like, and don't get it twisted. I'm not in shape. Like, especially I'm coming, <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm yeah. coming off of Achilles tear. 
So I'm I'm, I'm rehabbing the ankle. I had to jog yesterday, and I was yeah, gassed after like two and a half So when this came out, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start out working out this year. And it lasted mm-hmm. until, <laughs> until like February. So this and, and the video for this one was dope too. He was in the gym getting it in. So uh, let's let's uh, listen to a little bit of 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 cutting up here. I said I was gonna take a break, but I can't quit. Uh, if it was about the money, then I would be rich. Uh, a lot of things they saying just don't make no sense. Uh, I'm not that bad, it's just that man because I'm lit. Uh, form a line, form a line, form a line. Dress it up, make it real, wipe it down. Red and yellow, black and white, blue or brown. I'm the same way no matter who I'm around. They just mad, they see them over, they gotta stop. Uh, and I mean, even with Louisiana, you heard that form a line, form a line, form a line. Like that's what they say when the mouse music comes on, because you know, um, especially going to Pre- Prairie View, we're like six hours away from Louisiana. So whenever they play bounce music, music like that a lot, a lot. And so when the songs come on, you literally form a line and you start dancing in the line to the party. And it's okay. It's, so yeah. the context makes that even doper. Yeah, it's. That's what I said. Like he's getting in. Like I, I, I knew he was from Louisiana and stuff, just from his music. But like he's starting to incorporate that in his. Well, he's been incorporating that in the sound. Even if you think about like, like boot camp, mama's house. Yeah, was one of his like his first two bounce songs. But now he's starting to do melodic bounce songs where he's starting to sing on the hook, which is doesn't happen. If you sing yeah. on the hook, you sing like off key or you just you just kind of talking singing. But like he's like singing and riding on the hook to me. He handling his business most definitely when it comes to his roots. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and the reason why I really uh, enjoy what you just said, and just I enjoy Aha in general, is just because of one of his his line in that song where he said, "Black or white, red or yellow, blue, blue or brown." Blue brown. Like, I'm the same way no matter who I'm around. It's like I've 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 worked in corporate America. I've worked I've worked in nonprofit. I've worked at a church. I've worked all mm-hmm. over. And like his ability to be able to be authentically 100% himself, I'm kind of envious of that. Cause I've, I've had to code switch. I've had to be in environments where I had to like- yeah, yeah. And it's like, I hate that I that I did it. In some cases, I feel like I had to do it. Even in, in no, Christian sir, circles, I, no. you have to kind of turn down, turn down your blackness a little bit. But that's one thing I like about Ahaz because he just doesn't, he doesn't do that. Like mm-hmm. he's the same person, no matter who he's around. So I really enjoyed that line on that song. That was, that was, a, that was a dope one. So we are, we're, we're halfway through, right? Yes, if I'm not mistaken, I think we're there at five or four. All right. No, yeah, we're, we're at five. I believe we're okay, at five. Okay, man. All right, so uh, uh, number five, what you got? Ooh, we got to go to spin and um, hot. Say it again? Hot with Tony Rashad. Rashad. Where is it at? Where is it at? Uh, hot. Yes, you said hot. I thought you said hi. Got you. Okay, man. Yeah, let's. Uh, you want to? want to fire that up? Or you want to talk about it really quick? Um, I just like hot because of the energy it brings. Yeah. Like Tony Richard and and Aha have that, you know, back and forth. I don't know if you heard Wilderness by Tony Richard with Aha on it, but yes. Yes. yeah, that that song is crazy. How how they just kind of feed off each other. So even in hot, like it gives Tony Richard the you know, okay, Tony Richard starts off and he just starts like it's. It, I just imagine like a runner and Tony Richard as soon as and Aha comes in later with the hook. And he, yeah. he takes my time because I'm hot, 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 yeah. hot, hot. Yeah, I yeah. Like, I listened to it. I was like, yo, like, this is crazy. Like, I'm there. They definitely know that they complement each other in a musical sense. And they, they finesse that for this song. They, they definitely did. Let's check it out. Hot, 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 hot. On my soul, I'm on my top. Kick down the door. It's really up like you with poles up in the spot. I got the keys and draw the breeze while I transpose and I unlock. It really shows that we were chosen. You exposed because you're not. It's a high up in the spot. I want to see toes come out your socks. Slick as a fox. I know a lot, but playing it slow. Let my go watch. The best that no one ever was. Shout out Misty. Shout out Bro. Yeah. They, yeah. they, 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 they definitely have that have that connection. And then like it, then don't get Star Ringo on the track with both of them. Then it's, then it's yeah, definitely... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that definitely a rap. It's definitely a rap. So uh what what you got at number four, man? Um, must be why. <sighs> That's the one I was talking about earlier. I knew it. I knew it. That's why I said I thought you were talking about. I was like, I was like, oh. I was like, why? like hey. Yeah, that, hook, that hook was crazy. And then even after he came in, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I have no words for that song. Cause I yeah. I heard I saw the video first and I was just like, just 
Yeah, the video's dope. The way he just kind of he's getting ready for the show and he walks out and he's singing this song. Then it's like the entire uh, auditorium is empty and it's just like, man, he just he really did it. Have you seen that video? No, I haven't. Man, you guys check out the music video for that. It's lit. It's dope. That's crazy. It's dope. It's dope. Let's check out a little bit of Must Be Why. Is it the way that I sing or the money that it brings that make people want to like me? Do you care about her pain and the blood in her veins or is she just a body? Do you really do it for the love or is it just a hobby? I mean, it must be wild. Yeah, he, uh, he went in. He absolutely went in on that, especially like at the end. And, and like to what you said, the point you made earlier, like you can tell that he he put in some work vocally because he, like, he he really showed out on that song, really showed out. Yeah, he definitely. And I love how he's he's getting he's vulnerable. I has Loki. He's been vulnerable for a while. Yeah. Um, if, if you think about songs like Ejection, Reach for the Stars, um, stuff like that, like those yeah. are those are songs where he was like right from the heart, yeah. even um, like just with Must Be Why. That's that song is it makes you think like you know what is it that brings especially if you if you're doing if you're doing what you if you're doing what you're supposed to the right way people are going to come to you and that whole you know you you are what you attract is yep. not biblical this is it's, it's biblical in a sense but it's not because everyone sees light even in darkness you see light versus yep. you light and darkness so if you're light and darkness like you're supposed to be um you're going to get you're, you're there's going to be people who who, who need light and they're going to leech off of you. And you're yeah. going to have to take that back and be like, okay, wait, wait, wait. I got to reassess all these bonds and relationships because why are we close? How are we close? What is what is the proximity that we have to each other? And AHA does a really deep, you know, examination of that. It must be why. Yeah, he, re- he really does. I couldn't have said it any better. That was, that's a great recap of just, of that song and just like what it meant. Like it really is uh, some hard bars in that, in that song. And he really, mm-hmm. really sang his heart out on that one. So, um, that's a good look at four. Let's hop on over to number three. We're getting to the top three AHA okay. 2021 release tracks. Let's let's get it. What's number three? Hypnotize. 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 And that is off of um, oh, that's the one with Paris on it, right? Yep. That, yep. I was like, those are like my two. Um, like my Spotify rap said that like out of my top five, Paris was at two and AHA was at five. Like I listened to them. Like, like, like that. So nice. that whenever I, you know, I think the first time I heard them together was um, Lil Twenty for off of Paris Careers's um, uh, yeah, Deluxe yeah, yeah. And I, I already, I already knew they would be good together. Well, that's the first time I heard them too solo. Um, with them, right. them two, and then I was like, they got, they got to collab again. This is crazy. Then they yeah. did Hypnotize, and I was like, yeah, they got to. I don't know if we want to get a Super Splash Bros out of them. I was like, but that would be uh, nice. That would be nice there. too. He's another Paris is another one of those people who has like that CHH adjacent. Like most definitely. He's not safe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aha's not yeah. safe. Naringo's not safe. Um mm-hmm. and yeah, and I was I'm actually kind of shocked because my our ch- my church, the church I go to here in Dallas, one community church, they're actually bringing Aha in on New Year's Eve night to open up their new building. And really? I'm just like, ah, oh. like this That's is this awful. should be this should be interesting. So uh, but yeah, so you don't you don't get a whole lot of they're not getting invited to your to your normal youth group, so. Um, oh, for sure. Yeah, so let's 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 play a, a little bit of uh, this hypnotize and, and keep this thing rolling. I hope you see the signs. I hope you recognize. I hope you read the finer print. I hope you know your lines. I hope you're ready for that action, cause it's camera time. I hope that you can handle yours the way I handle mine. Now open up your mind. It's time to take a ride. Let go of what you thought you knew, cause you've been hypnotized. Um, I'm young, I'm like 20, so but there's a song that um Aha sampled for that. And it's it's a famous it's a famous RB song. Give me one more one more chance. Hold on, hold on. I gotta go back. Dude, when I tell you I heard this and I was like, yo, I know because I like I said I go to HBCU. Uh-huh. And like I hear everything. And right. when I heard Sample, I was like, yo, he like, he like, he, he did this like well. And just him and Paris's chemistry in mm-hmm. general is great. Um, I agree. 
Give me one. Hold on. I'm really trying to find this. This is looking to get me mad. Is it like 90s or 80s? 90s, 2000s. Ah, okay. Like You by Ciara. There we go. Hold on. If when I tell you that Aha like sampled this, like it was cold. It was cold. Hold on. Listen to this. Wait. Hold on. I know you like samples. I hear it. Yep. Yep. That's wild. I heard it and I was like, I know this. And it's like the way the Ciara comes in the song, her rhythm is like, like her her cadence is to that that sample part. Is like she goes like na 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 Yep. Yes, it's clicking now. I didn't even yep. I didn't even pick that up. Hey, Dude, you know, know your music for real, man. So when I heard it, I was like, I was like, what are you? I was like, I know this song. I know. It. I was like, and I looked, I heard it somewhere. I was like, bro, I, I gotta, I put it together. I was like, okay, listen to this, listen to that. I did like two more times. I was like, yo, aha, uh-huh, get into a sample bag. Like his his yep. team getting into the sample bag for sure. Um. That's so yeah, that like you by CR featuring Bow Wow. You know, Aha uh-huh took that. Aha, uh-huh, you know, he's a millennial. So a lot of that music was what he probably listened to in high school, right. middle school. Exactly. So it just makes sense that he would incorporate that. And Paris Carriz being like the same age as AHA, I'm pretty sure they had fun being on the oh, track. Yeah. Like, um, like I said, just their energy. The way that they, they vibe out together, the way that they, they like I said, they're, they're the same. And they're good friends and they both stay out the way. They yep. both, you know, do their thing, make their, make their moves, and they go back to the shadows and they come back like, hey, I got music again, or hey, I'm doing something again. So yeah, yeah, it was That's definitely good. Both of them. That's what's up. We are, uh, we are two away. So okay, bet. We're coming towards the close. Number two. Aha. Uh-huh. Um, what you got? Did me dirty. Did me dirty. That's off a of spin, right? Yes, sir. Did me dirty. Let's let's listen to a a quick snippet of that, and then we'll we'll chat about that one really quick. You're so ungrateful Stealing food from me under the table You're not really solid, you're unstable How can someone that you love be so hateful? If you gon' let it going, Just treat the whole thing like bowling Let me hurry up, get the bar rolling Let me hurry up, get it on over with Drinking my water, no soda yes, No, and, yeah, Demi Dirty's good It's just, you know, aha He's made, he's, he's been doing this, you know, rap thing since like 2000 and what, 13, yeah. like 15 ish. And it's, it's been a while. So, you know, he's had to really let some people go, bring in some people and stuff. And he had to look at that. So, it only makes sense that in some of his songs, people touch up on that. And just yeah. even as someone who had to, like I said, reevaluate friendships and relationships. Yeah. Um, I was like, you know what? I've been there dirty. And you have to accept that sometimes, you know, sometimes. You have to continue to get dirty, but another side of it, I think, is you have to understand that you, you, you've done people dirty sometimes. Sometimes yeah. you've been on the side where you didn't do the and you know your intentions might have been great, you know, the outcome still wasn't, you know, anticipated. Right. So you have to accept that, and that's a part of growth. And I just think AHA definitely is showing that he's growing within yeah. this song, within this, this this project, too. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I completely agree. Like, that's just like the, um, and that, that's the re- uh, another reason why I, I just enjoy Aha's music and what he brings, just because he, he I feel like he understands that like people are not going to always like receive him the right way. He he understands that, but he also understands the other side of it. Like I understand if you don't want to rock with me, and like he has like uh, he has like these funny lines where he's just kind of like uh, like going into the song. There was one I was listening to some Aha today where he said mm-hmm. like um, if it's uncomfortable for you, like go ahead and get off, like. I get it. Yeah. I understand. Um, so I feel like he understands that, like, like you said, some people d- have done me dirty, but I've done the same thing. Like we're kind of all, they're all kind of jacked up together in this. So um, mm-hmm. really, I, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. So uh, we have come to the moment. Uh, Freddie's number one song from AHA 2021. Uh, go ahead and tell us what it is. Uh, well, well, actually, well. actually, before you do that, let me let me kind of go through and see if I can maybe guess, man. Because there's there, there's a lot of there's a lot left for. 
if I can give three songs that I think it might be, I think it is a chance that it might be the spin freestyle. And there's a chance. Uh, and it, there's a chance that it might be heaven. Those are my two picks. Wait, I mean, it's completely man? off, but uh, those are those are my guesses. Uh, the spin freestyle or heaven. But uh, Freddie, go ahead and let us know what the number one, what your number one aha song is for this year. Bum bum. Ah, that was that was my sleeper. That was yeah. my sleeper. I should have went with it. Definitely. Yeah, I like that one. Matter of fact, that's the one I heard. I think either I tweeted about it or you tweeted about I, that song. I, I can't remember which one. No, yeah, it was it was like I tweeted like a part of the lyrics and then you came in and then I like finished it. And yeah, like, yeah, you sure did. Like part. Yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and listen to that real quick. I bring it to your door like a recruiter. Where you at? Come outside. Come get the number, spend some time. I promise you it's gonna be fine. Form a line like pom 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 pom. things um well okay the first thing is just like i said the louisiana influence going to yeah. school down here i've really gotten in touch with that and it's just it's dope the music is dope and even like i said go like you hear it now it makes sense like imagine you're at a party don't be scared come outside form a line like you yeah. know everybody dancing and study you know form a line you might do some with your shoulder something like that or you just might move your head side yeah. to side and it's just you know have fun enjoy the scene it don't matter what you've done and aha kind of brings in that party scene with it and then like just the beat itself that don't 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 and yeah. then like got the piano playing and like i said even with the piano his musicality that he's starting to flex if you hear it don't matter what you've done he, he, he puts some chords on it and he, he he brings it up like it don't matter what you've done and like yeah. it resonates and i was like yo this is he kind of doing a lot right now yeah. and then even with the, the artists that he chose um they brought their own thing that they do. Like I said, be tall. They're two and zero now with their yep. songs. And then Main Man got on there and uh, rapped, like he rap, and he he came in. And he was like, "Yo, I got something." He he rapped, like he had something to prove. Yep. And this who, whoever curated that track was like, you know, this is who we should have on it. Um, definitely knows their artists and definitely yep. knows you know what they they want. But yeah, Bum Bum Man, that's just that's the song I listen to if I'm like you know driving or if I'm just moving around. It's it's great, bro. Like I said, that, that form a line just ties it all off. Like, don't be scared. Come outside. Form a line. Like, um, um, yeah, just, I, have, you know? I have a new appreciation for for what that means. I, I just I, the way I looked at it was it's like I guess like in the other song, as far as like getting a line, like another person who doesn't like me. So just get in line. <laughs> so it's it's cool now to really to understand like that Louisiana uh, kind of meaning and context behind it now. So that's dope, man. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, yeah man. So. Freddie, thank you so much for uh, spending some time with me and, and going through your top 10 songs for AHA in 2021. Um, well, before we get out of here, uh, just let the people know how they could be uh, praying for you, how they can be um, just uh, keeping you in their thoughts as you as you make, transition out of undergrad and into what's in the future for you. Oh, man, uh, just, yeah, just, I'm going to start, you know, grad school in a couple of months. Um, in a whole new degree, in a whole new major area, going from communication to education. So just pray for me that God will be with me. Pray with me that, you know, um, I'll have a stable job that I can be able to work and be able to put money in my pocket so I can take some weight off my parents. Just, just pray that God keeps me. Mm -hmm. I got, you know, um, I have my first degree from the, you know, in a year or two time, I'll have my second, you know. Man. And just pray that God keeps me, man, because I didn't, you, you couldn't have told me that I was going to be here a year ago or so, but here we are. And the best that I can do is just be like, God, keep me, please, like, please, God, keep me. You know what I'm saying? It, that, the, the, more, the more life gets real for you, the more you're that God, keep me becomes the please, God, keep me because yeah. it's scary out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just definitely yeah. just pray that God keeps me. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely be doing that. Um, I, I really do. It's funny because, like, I don't look like it, but I'll be 38 in, a, in, in about a month. And, like, when I and I've been in into Christian hip hop and I, I ran a campus ministry when I was on campus and things like that. Um, 
I played college basketball at the school that I was at. So I was in kind of a, of a public light. And um, I felt like I, I felt like the Lord was very gracious with me. And I, I wish that I was, um, well, I, I wish I would have taken some of the chances I think that you have, because you, you're involved in Greek life. Mm. And you're, 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 you're amongst the people and you've done a good job, I feel like, of, of, of building a bridge. And, um, and I feel like I was with the people, but I was a little bit more standoffish mm-hmm. when it came to like just really embracing people where they're at. So I commend you just for, for embracing people where they're at and um, just many blessings to you as you as you go into this next chapter of life. So, um, so again, Freddie, thank you so much uh, for all you guys uh, checking this out. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, you can follow follow Freddie. I'll put his, his tags. They'll probably be on the screen here. Um, if you enjoy Christian Hip Hop in the Culture, uh, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on, on uh, Twitter as well. And uh, thank you guys for checking this out. And until next time, peace in, confusion out, and be positive.